Hi, I'm Ruby Mae Valentine. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. So today um, we're going to build a house um, and an enchantment table and maybe we will even go to the nether. I've been doing a bunch of resource gathering off camera because um, you know it's kind of boring just videos of mining and chopping down trees and whatnot. I did some of that stuff for the first episode, but I want to make it usual where I'm doing most of the resource gathering off camera. And I'm trying to go to sleep and it is not dark enough. There we go. Okay. So I have some red concrete here that I gathered and I have some logs and oak planks and some leaves. Um, I might use the leaves for the house, not sure yet. We will see. I have, I had a little facade built in my test world. Um, I'm gonna leave those in there for now that I'm going to be referencing while I build the house. And yeah, so I got some diamonds. Um, I was looking at my statistics. So, so far we've got a total of 19 diamonds, which is pretty good. Um, I haven't even, I think I maybe mined a total of like one hour. The first diamonds I found, it took 25 minutes. So not bad, I would say. But yeah, I want to build an enchantment table so that I can get fortune on my pickaxe and um, hopefully efficiency. And I would also like to get a pickaxe with silk touch because um, that bee nest is nearby and I would really like some bees um, to help out with my farming. And once I get um, some more redstone stuff going, um, which I've not gotten anything so far, I would like to set up a little um, farm. And then, you know, honey is a pretty good source of food. So I might use that as my food source um, a bit later in the game. Uh, we will see. I'm probably going to use chicken as my main source of food at first, but I need to go to the nether to get quartz so that I can make a comparator. Um, because I, I have this little automatic chicken farm that I like making um, that works really well and produces a lot of chicken. So yeah, anyway, let's get to building this house. Um, first, I'm going to clear out some of this land here because I need more room. Um, and uh, I chopped down these trees. I was going to do that on camera, but um, my dog started freaking out. And also, I'm using a new recording software, and um, I had the settings wrong, so the video was like cropped off at the bottom, which was not great. But I fixed it, so should be good now. But yeah, I was using Fraps, but um, there was something where it was uh, kind of messing with my mic quality, I think. Um, not sure why, it was pretty strange. Um, but I, I'm using OBS now, um, which I've heard is better than Fraps. Um, it seems to be better, there seems to be a lot more settings that I can have at my disposal. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I just got Adobe Premiere, um, so it's been really fun editing the videos so far. Um, and uh, the uh, I'm going to download the Adobe Premiere beta because apparently there's um, auto transcription, so I'm going to try that out because editing the captions on the last video took me all day yesterday. And so, yeah, I want to maybe make it a little bit easier on myself. Um, Cause yeah, like I said last time, I don't really like YouTube's algorithm. It's pretty inaccurate sometimes when it comes to captioning. So it's a little unfortunate and I don't want my words to be misrepresented by a algorithm. So I'd like to do it myself. And the great thing about the Adobe Premiere one is that you can edit the captions for clarity and accuracy after they're detected automatically, which is great. So I, I will still have control over what's being said and whatnot, and um, it'll just be a little bit faster than taking several hours yesterday. So yeah, okay, um, we have 
our little area out. I think I'm trying to decide which angle I want to have the front. I'm thinking, hmm. I guess I kind of like the idea of it facing the water here, but it might be a little bit weird. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have it face the water. So I'm gonna open up my little screen cap and look at my facade that I built. So let's get a crafting table out here. I'm gonna put that as far away as possible. And I'm gonna make some stairs. So that should be good. And I'm gonna make some plate. No, nope, that's a pressure plate. How do I make, no. <laughs> Plank, no crafting table. How do you make planks? Um, huh, that's a pressure plate. You know, let's just open the crafting book. I want to see the oh, right, right. Sorry, like I said, haven't played the game in a while, <laughs> forgot how to make um, slabs. The most important building tool. Okay, so we are going to, let's see if I can, huh, let's see, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, okay, well, I could make it a little wider, or I could just have it off center from the sand, you know what, oh wow, I fixed the problem. <laughs> Okay, so we want it here and here. And we're going to use a little plank. And no. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Got some stairs. And I believe another set of stairs. No. Slabs? Slabs. Yes, that looks correct. Okay, and then have these here. And da -da. okay. So, oh yeah, I need fence. Should be good for now. And then... Okay. Build this around here. And we'll build our little floor. Not sure how far back I want to build this. Let's see how much room I have. Also, might run out of wood. Because, yeah, like I said, I only built the facade, so I didn't really know how much materials I would need for a full house. I'm thinking this is good though, this size here. And then... Get my concrete.
Okay. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. So. Hmm. I think build out here. Oh, this is going to be really small. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can build it out a little more. <clears throat> I will. I think I'm going to make a few stories to the house um, later on once I have more materials. But for now, we're just going to have a little, a little house. Wait a minute. That is on the wrong level. Are you getting dark again already? <laughs> wow. Time flies. And there we go. <sighs> okay. Back to building. Um, can I? <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I have escaped. Let me look at this side real quick. Okay, so there is one sticking out on that level. And then, okay, it goes around. Okay, so I need more slabs. And then... Okay. there I definitely will do some like prettier lighting eventually I just really don't have the resources yet um, but and I also just don't want creepers to come in and blow up my stuff so yeah am I doing this yeah that's correct cool. fantastic Okay, and yeah, we need our little fence posts. Very tiny house. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I do say so myself. <clears throat> Wondering if I should put some stuff to break this up a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. And then I can put like uh, little flower pots here, I believe. Yeah, there's a block there. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna build a, more onto this house to make it bigger eventually, but this should do for now. Um, now I need to build a roof. I wasn't really thinking about what to do for a roof, so we'll see what happens now. Because <laughs> um, I had planned the rest, but not that part. And. Okay, I need to clear out my inventory a little bit. Let's plop down a chest here. Okay. All right, so now we'll build a roof. 
Oh wait, no. First, I would like to build more stairs. Because I'm going to do this all the way around. Wait. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I like to have some depth in my builds. Um, I just think it looks nice. I might modify this house a little bit to make it a little less monotonous. Um, and yeah. There we go. Now I just gotta figure out what to do with the roof. So let's try to figure something out. And I need a way to get down there. Um, There we go. Okay, so roof. What shall we do? Okay, I have more slabs. I thought I only had 14 left. I was like, oh no. Maybe just a simple little roof like this. Maybe I'll um, go grab some more logs and pretty it up a little. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know you could break slabs um, apart like that now. Or maybe it's because it was on the wrong layer, never mind. <laughs> these trees are so dense, I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of all of these leaves unless I chop down all of those trees. Okay, yeah, this is looking a little too... like uh, one texture so I'm gonna yeah definitely go up there and yeah let's do this and we'll put some torches up here So I usually don't like building houses on like a 90 degree angle, but um, just for simplicity's sake, for a first little starter home, I decided to build just basically a box. But okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's see if there's anything else I can do to the outside here. Maybe something like that. I'll eventually replace those with lanterns. Actually, I could probably just do that now um, if I just have a second. Yeah, because um, I have a lot of iron right now and I don't really have any redstone stuff to do yet, so I don't really need hoppers just yet. 
So we should make some lanterns. Let's see, let's just turn this all into nuggets. And okay, I really need to clear out my inventory. <laughs> Okay, da, da, da. give me those, make some lanterns, there we go, 16 lanterns, should be good. <laughs> I need to figure out a better solution than that for getting down there. <laughs> I really like the lanterns. It's like one of the best additions to the game. They look so good. And you can plop them down in all sorts of places. It's great. And we'll put lanterns here. here. Okay, and we're gonna move my bed up here. So we're gonna do that. So I don't have to crawl down there every time I wanna... Oh yeah, I should put some light down here. We'll just do some lanterns, because I have some extra. <laughs> Don't want any baby zombies spawning underneath there. And we'll put the bed in the corner there. Yeah, very tiny house, but I like it. <laughs> okay, now we need to make a door. And I don't have enough wood for that, so we're going to go chop down some more trees, and then we'll make a door. all these saplings I am gonna make a tree farm soon I'll probably do that off camera because it's kind of boring but I will show what it looks like once it's done I have a little way I like to do it and I need to capture this cow <laughs> I think I will do that after I put the door on um, and then I'll find another cow yeah, you're a cow. I hear you. Must be hard being a cow. Okay, so we will make a door. And, uh -huh. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I had more wood in there. <laughs> Oh well, no harm in more wood than you need. Okay, oh yeah, actually, I am going to go get some sticks. Okay, I really need to do something about that. I guess I could just lower, actually, no, whatever. Um, I'll figure it out some other time. Oh, I thought I had sticks down here, but I guess I don't. Okay, well, I'll just make some sticks. That's fine. Okay, and we're going to go grab this crafting table out from the lawn and going to put that right there. Cool. So let's make some sticks. We'll make some fence posts. 39. That should be good. Oh, yeah, I need a fence used all my wood okay <laughs> yeah see this is why I'm going to be building a tree farm off camera oh, there's a bee oh yeah um so big reason I want the enchantment table is that I um, want to get those bees um, I want that silk touch I think I might have already mentioned that wasn't not sure if that's in the recording that got messed up um, or not <laughs> So I just want to mention it again, just in case. Mine's a little foggy today. I uh, didn't get much sleep. Uh, 
Okay. That should be enough wood. It's an egg. Egg. Cool. <sighs> Let's chop down this tree. Actually, no. Never mind. I didn't realize it was on a raised area. Oh, yeah. Need to craft the plank. Okay. No, I don't want that. <laughs> Do not want. I need a gate. I will make two. No. There we go. Okay. So we're going to build a little pen out here. Um, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Little lantern. And my dog's barking. Oy vey. Hello, I'm back. Um, I cut the video because my dog was losing her little mind because um, someone was outside and this is her street apparently. So uh, yeah, I, I uh, rounded up some cows and um, as you can see, one got mm. moited. Um, but there are babies, mm. so that's good. Um, but I have one leather, so I can make one book, which is all we need, I believe for a little enchantment table, or it might be two books. We'll see. If it comes down to it, I'll kill the other cow. Um, I'm also gonna expand that pen soon so that I can get like a lot of leather because I wanna have an, a full enchanting setup. Um, hopefully this episode, I'll probably cut um, the video and like stop recording and do the uh, like collecting of the cows and whatnot off camera because that'll take quite a while and it'll be boring. So <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, let's go make a book. Here we go. Make a book. Okay, yeah, we need two books. Let me see. Enchantment. Okay, yeah, we need two diamonds and one book actually. Okay. And I know where I can find some obsidian. And here's my obsidian. Yep, really needed to do something better than this for that. <laughs> uh, diamonds, right. <laughs> Great, gotta go back down. <laughs> You know what? That works. <laughs> Just have a floating chest now. Diamonds. Okay, here we go. Enchantment table. Yay. We did it. Oh my gosh. There we go. Well, that's a little bit better. Just have an awkward floating chest for now, unfortunately. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know what I could do is I could put the, I could like elevate the chest. Um, I'll just do that after I clear out my inventory a little bit because I don't want the items to go everywhere. <laughs> um, okay, so we have an enchantment table. And... Where do we want to put it? Because I'll probably just have a little outdoor enchanting room for now. I'm definitely going to like build like better structures and stuff over time. Um, I do like building like pretty stuff. Um, I do like how my house came out, I think. Yeah. Um, it's very tiny, but I like it. But yeah, I think that adding this really helped break it up better. So I'm happy about that. Here's a cow. You need to grow up. 
so I can make more cows. Oh. Tell them to grow up. Oh yeah, I rounded up some sheep too. Don't, they just came along, so I was like, whatever, it's going to be harder to try to get you to go away than it is to just let you come along, and I'll separate the sheep out eventually, somehow. <laughs> I wish sheep had a different thing that attracted them other than wheat. I know, I think it makes sense. I don't know how sheep work in real life, but I don't know, maybe like a, like sugar cane or something, I don't know. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Let's go figure out where we want to put this enchantment table. Let's see. Maybe because I need what is it? Like a five by five space, three by three? No, because. <clears throat> Right, because I put this here. Oh, yeah, then. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's. I'm trying to find a good spot. I don't really have a lot of room here. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do it right here. Okay, <clears throat> and then yeah, I'll just clear out this land. Okay, yeah, this seems good. that down right here cool let's see what we got efficiency efficiency <laughs> and efficiency oh, yeah, it's all gonna be efficiency because it was the same kind of stuff <laughs> let's eat my golden apple what is this absorption huh I don't know what absorption is. Is that new? I'm not sure. I haven't played the game in a while, so I've forgotten a lot of stuff. Like, I haven't played Minecraft in probably a year, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to be playing it a lot more now, so I'm very happy about that. Um, okay, so we got my enchantment, enchantment table down. Let's see what to do next i think i'm going to stop recording and then i will come back when i have gotten all the leather that i can get and books and then we'll uh set up the full enchantment room hello I am back. It's about three hours later, um, <laughs> and many cow deaths later, and I have 16 bookshelves, which is one more than the amount I need, I believe. So we are going to set up our enchanting table. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Silk Touch. Hello. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to make a new pickaxe for that. <clears throat> da -da -da. I also got some more diamonds. Like three more, I believe. Um, while I was doing stuff off camera. Um, I was mining to like pass the time between cows 
um, growing up and being able to breed and stuff and I was chopping trees and whatnot all types of stuff like that put this in here put that in there okay let's see because yeah if I use silk to, oh wait I need lapis okay Suck Dutch. Ooh, efficiency four and then breaking three. Nice. That's awesome. Now let's see if I can go get some experience points from any of these furnaces. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything in the furnaces down here because I would like to enchant another pickaxe and see if I can get fortune. Okay, I don't have enough right now. Um, maybe I could smelt up some cobblestone. Because I'm only a little bit away. Oh wow, it's starting to like storm outside today. Sorry about the background noise. Not much I can do about it. <clears throat> Let's see. But uh, yeah, now at least I can get the bees for now. Um, unfortunately, don't have fortune just yet. Because um, that'll make getting diamonds, like, we'll have so many diamonds once we have fortune three. It'll be great. Let me see if I even, okay, efficiency four, okay. Well, it's not even fortune isn't even the next enchantment, so what I'm going to do after I get enough experience points is I am going to, um, I'm going to block off the bookshelves, do like a low level enchantment, and then I will, um, do, see if I can get fortune again. Basically, I'll re-roll it. Okay, so here's our beehive. So... We'll wait until nighttime for the bees to come home, and then we will harvest the beehive. And I'm going to put them over here, um, and, uh, next near my wheat farms. Oh yeah, I expanded my uh, grow operation a little bit here, because um, I needed a lot of wheat for the cows, so... I made these little platforms, which I, I like how they turned out. I think they look pretty good. Okay, well, maybe I can get some experience points from be breeding up these cows. That should be enough. the sheep. Hmm. Well, I guess I can go and do some more mining. Um, but for now, I kind of want to go to the nether. And hopefully I don't die and lose all my experience points. So what I am going to do is I am going to dump my inventory And I am going to keep my iron armor because it's easy to get iron. I'm going to take a sword and an iron pickaxe. And I'm going to grab... Okay, it must be up here. I'm going to grab the obsidian and build our little nether portal. I need some flint. <clears throat> need this please okay oh, I should bring some food bring half of the stack um, I don't want to be hearing the nether portal all the time so I'm going to build my nether portal over here on this piece of land well let's swim so it's a little faster 
I like that they added the swimming feature. It definitely makes traversing water a little bit better. Okay. But yeah, I want to get some quartz so I can set up my chicken machine. Hey, chicken. You're... That's funny. <laughs> Speak of the devil. How's this go? Hey. Get out of here. I think it's... That. That's not right. <laughs> okay, well, I have to go get my diamond pick. Um, <laughs> oh, Eve. I'm not the best when it comes to counting blocks while building. <laughs> I think I will build a bridge sometime soon. Maybe off camera, because that'll take a really long time, but I think I want to build like a nice little bridge. Um, I'm not using that one. Give me this one. <laughs> I'll just bring this one with me. I don't really mind if I lose it. Oh wait, this is my first pick, actually. Never mind. I'm going to not bring this one with me. <laughs> I need to remember that. This is my first one. And this is my second one. And I'll just bring that with. I know it's like only like half used, but I mean, if I lose it, I lose it. I probably won't lose it though, because I'm just going to pop in, just try to grab some quartz, and then get out of there, because I hate the nether. I know I'm going to have to be there a lot more eventually, but for now, I would like to avoid it as much as possible. See, I do want to fight the wither eventually so that I can get a beacon. <clears throat> Obsidian takes so long to mine. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, my sword ready. Uh, let's see where I spawn. Soul Sand Valley. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, and there's Enderman. Ooh, right, the bone blocks. I forgot about those. Those are a great source of bone meal. I don't think I'm going to go for it, but I just want this quartz for now. Oh, and I got my experience. Yeah, quartz is a really good source of experience because it's like super fast to mine and there's a bunch of it all over the nether. Oh, yay, Crimson Forest. That's cool. I love that. I wish the blocks that came from these, the wood blocks, I wish they were actually red and not the pink color that they are. Okay, you're not, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go now. Yep, let's get out of here. Oh, I hate soul sand. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Okay. Hey, chicken. Now time to get off this scary island. And back to our safe little home. <laughs> so that was a, a relatively uneventful nether trip. And I got the quartz that I need. <clears throat> okay, great. We are here. And we're going to go to bed so that we don't get killed by monsters. <clears throat> okay, great. Oh, I got some netherrack. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, I need... Oh, more coal. <clears throat> Okay, I think I have more coal somewhere. Yes, I have any coal in any of these chests. 
doesn't look like it. Nope. some torches make a comparator make a torch yeah, I need There we go. And we'll put our quartz away because we have our one comparator that we need. I'm going to need a bucket of lava. Let's go get that. There's some lava pretty close by in the mine. I'm so glad that I have a bunch of food now. I was really struggling food-wise. Okay, I think there's some lava like just right here. No, right up here. Yeah, there we go. I think there's lava underneath here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um. <laughs> Let's not play with lava. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting, getting started here. I will have to find some chickens, of course, which there is one on that little island. So I'll probably go over there, grab that chicken, and then I think I saw some chickens when I first started playing in this world on the island my house is on, so I guess it's not an island, but, well it might be actually, I haven't really checked too much. I don't even know if that's an island, or where is it? That. <laughs> okay. Put all this stuff away and get some seeds. And we're gonna go grab a chicken. I'm gonna stop recording because it's gonna take a second to grab the chickens. So that actually didn't take too long. I found two um, near where my house is pretty quickly. Um, and I set up a little uh, place to store them for them. So these are my, uh, my guys that are gonna make eggs for me for my machine okay you're gonna go in the hole go in the hole okay and then we're gonna breed these guys and they're gonna make babies and the babies are gonna grow up and we're gonna have a million chickens eventually and so yeah I have some hoppers here and they go into a chest I can easily access and yeah so I think what's next is that I'm gonna make a campfire so that I can get that bee nest um, what do I need sticks what do I need for a campfire I haven't unlocked the campfire What, a, what? What do you need for a campfire? What am I missing? That. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if it's like a bug or something, um, but I should have the campfire recipe um, because I've gathered all of the materials needed before. So that's very strange. Let's 
So yeah, I just need... Oh, what? Why didn't it show up when I searched it? Okay, that's bizarre. <laughs> oh well. At least it's fixed now. <clears throat> that okay so now we just need to wait for those bees to go to bedtime and then I will get them with my silk touch <clears throat> also I found another uh, beehive nearby um, I'm gonna have to track that down again but it was off that way so I will definitely go and find that too soon because it would be, it would definitely be nice to have two. Um, I'm gonna chop some wood real quick. Not the one where the bees are. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna gather these flowers. Oh, they're following me. I like their little buzzing sound, it's nice. <laughs> it does though sound like a human making a buzzing sound. I don't know if that's how they made it, but... <laughs> okay. I am going to... Okay. Okay, cool. Let me see how many bees are in there. Where's entities? How many level five? Wait, does it not say how many bees are in there? Okay, well, I'm just gonna assume there's enough bees. Oh shit, oh shit. Well, <laughs> I used the wrong tool on accident, and now they're mad at me. <laughs> I guess it's good that there's another beehive nearby. <laughs> oh, great. I love that. <laughs> well, this guy's fine. Oh, and he's fine too. Okay. Well, that's good. I guess they just don't have a hive now, though. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to make another campfire and then go find that other beehive. <laughs> okay, let's try not to mess it up this time. <laughs> Pretty sure the other one is over here. This is very dangerous. You know what, I'm gonna go check the screenshot I took um, so that I can find the beehive a lot easier. <laughs> Hello, so I have acquired the other bee nest and I'm gonna get that set up. I'm going to get a campfire. Um, there's a way to like put out a campfire, right? Am I making that up? Okay, yeah, there is. Cool, cool, cool. And then I can mine it with Silk Touch, I believe. Yep, cool. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what the best place might be for these guys. I'm thinking... Oops. Oh, I don't have my hoe with me. There it is. Ugh. 
I'm going to be installing some data packs soon to stop Endermen from stealing stuff and to stop creepers from exploding my stuff. Um, because that's just how I like to play. I just haven't uh, downloaded them yet. Um, but yeah, so it's 100% vanilla right now, but soon it will be slightly modified just to make my playing experience a little less frustrating. Okay, so I want... So the bees could be over here, and then um, let me see. Okay, we'll put a campfire, place the bees. Okay, and then we're gonna take our flowers and see, we're gonna do it here. Cool. So we got bees. Oh, there's three. Oh yeah, because the ones that were lost their hive will probably go and find that hive now. It's cool that I was able to get away from those bees um, without them killing themselves. And then they seem to have just kind of lost interest in me. So that was cool. I didn't know that bees did that. I thought they just stayed angry forever, but they appeared to have calmed down. So yeah. And then we got my our bees, so yeah. Cool. I love the bees addition to Minecraft. It's great. <laughs> I love bees. I got stung by a bee, um, like six months ago. First time getting stung by one. Well, sort of. One time when I was a kid, I got stung by a dead one because I picked it up trying to save it and the stinger went into me and that hurt. But this time being stung by an alive bee was one of the most painful things I've ever experienced, if not the most painful. It hurt real bad. And I went to urgent care and they got the stinger out. And yeah. <laughs> um, still like bees though, but um, it was kind of my fault. I went to an area with bees with flip flops on and um, a bee got stuck underneath in between my foot and my flip flop and it uh, stung me. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, I got stung in the foot, which sucked, and yeah, I was just screaming and crying. It was it was real painful. <laughs> um, okay, so I got my bees, and how's the chickens going? Can I make more? Or have you laid any eggs? Oh, three eggs. Okay, cool. So this is what we do. Oh, there you go. Ah, what is? Oh, oh no. I'm having lots of bee troubles today. Oh no. I'm gonna run far away and hopefully they'll lose interest in me again. I don't want. Oh, I just got my bees. I, I, I must have hit one with an egg. Ugh. I guess I gotta be more careful. <laughs> okay, hopefully the bees are all calm now. Are you calm? I'm assuming one of them must have died. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that sucks. Um... Let's see if I can get some more flowers. I mean, worst case scenario, I have to bone meal a bunch of trees until I get a beehive again. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's another bee. Okay, so I think they're good. Because I saw one over here. Let me see if I can find that guy. I want to lure him back to the hive. Oh, there we go. Come here. Come, 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 come. 
Okay. Follow me, B. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're going to be more careful around the bees. Um, and then eventually I would like to build a, uh, a like, um, a little, like, greenhouse sort of thing with the bees in them. So I'm going to breed these bees. So that they make a baby. So now I have more bees. And I am also going to reignite this campfire so that I can harvest the honey. I'm pretty sure I can do it when the campfire is on. Yeah. Cool. So I got honeycomb. So now what I can do is I can make a, uh, a bee nest or a beehive. Something like that. Um, let me, let's see. Oh yeah, beehive. Okay, so, all right. So the natural occurring ones are bee nests and what I am making is a beehive. So that's cool. Um, little baby bee. So I guess I'll put the other one over here. And yeah, so um, the plan is is that I'm gonna breed the bees some more, and then um, the the new bees will go and find the beehive and go hang out in it. Um, yeah, and then I'll build a bee army. What am I doing? And I need yeah. I need three logs. Okay. That's really expensive. <laughs> oh, okay. Please don't escape, please don't escape. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, go back in. <laughs> Holy vey. I need to put a ladder in there because I'm definitely going to fall in that hole more than once. <laughs> this one out too cool we got bees I need to get more flowers though so I can uh, convince them to fly over the crops more but also I should probably just harvest the crops so that I actually am reaping the benefits Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> okay. B location. Where are my bees? still in their hives. That's <laughs> eh, probably fine. 
Okay. There's a bee. Kind of going all over the place right now. Where's that tree floating? That's weird. Maybe that's the one that I just chopped down. <laughs> Okay, well, I think this was a good episode. Yeah, I think we're going to be done here. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye.